Hi friends, welcome to the Plane Fun RC channel. I'm your host, Saul. I just want to take a moment and share with you one of the planes that I have here, and this is the Wendell Hostetler, 30% scale, Cessna 150-152 Aerobat. And I uh, just want to go ahead and give a quick walk around, just a sh short video. Uh, the plane was purchased back in 1995 as a kit uh, from Tower Hobbies. Believe it or not, Tower Hobbies used to sell them back then. At the time, it was among one of the largest planes that they sold. Uh, but this one I started in 95 and finally finished in uh, 2020. Um, and uh, you can see she's just a beautiful scheme. And I'll, and I'll tell you in a second where we got the scheme. The wingspan is, uh, is 10 feet. As you can see, we've got a nice starburst pattern on top and also on the rear as well. And she's just a great looking, great looking Cessna. She's using a um, a 65cc rimfire, brushless motor, 12S, 8,000 milliamp pack. We've got two 6S in series. And uh, the struts, believe it or not, these are actually from World Models, from their 150cc uh, Cessna that they used to sell. And they come pre-shaped uh, with the metal attachment already in. And if you look at the fairings as well, the strut fairings, those are also from the 150cc um, uh, Cessna for both the wing and for the fuselage as well. And they are fiberglass, uh, and they're covered in yellow ultra coat. And I, and I was real proud of those. Uh, the windshield, I'm not that great at putting on windshields, but uh, I just got that bolted in place, uh, screwed in place. But the, but the side windshields, that's actually clear monocoat. Uh, on there and, and the doors do come off you can see we've got hinges here and that's how we access the batteries and right now I've got her sitting on the Zykoi balancers she's a little nose heavy which is to be expected because that pack is uh is rather huge let me show you the weight of the plane and you can see she's coming in a little over 33 and a half pounds but I love that the left and the right is almost dead on accurate in terms of weight as you can see there on the screen. Now the scheme, the color scheme I actually found online and I down, downloaded some photos and printed them out. But you can see there's the full size. That's where we got the idea from for the actual color scheme. Anyway, just wanted to take a moment to share that with you so you can see it. She's just a gorgeous Cessna. Gorgeous Cessna, and, and I think one of the neatest things, let me get down real low for you, and we're going to shoot upward, is the checkerboard wing. And you can see that there, how we have that set up. Real proud of that. Now, the wheel pants and the cowling, they're all painted with Wings West. Because Wings West is the only manufacturer out there that makes uh, paints that color match the ultra coat and monocoat coverings that are out there. And that's what the plane is covered in. It's covered in ultra coat. But you can see the perfect uh, color match for the pants and the cowl. Real proud of that. All right, friends, we're getting her ready for summertime. Let me give you a quick shot of the inside of the cockpit. All right, friends, why don't we take a quick peek on the inside of the Cessna 150-152 Aerobat by Hostetler. And let's go ahead and take a look at how the setup, is, uh, how the setup is, is arranged. We've got our servo sitting up there up front. That servo that you see right there, that's the pull-pull servo for the, uh, for the steering. And then over to the right, we've got, or to the right of there, to the rear of that actually, is uh, our pull-pull for our rudder. And the two servos on the side are for the actual elevators themselves. Now, if you take a look also, directly behind that, we've got a receiver pack because we need a little weight in the back. And then directly above that, we've got our new 10-channel AS3X receiver as well. Now, if we take a, a look to the front, you'll see we've got our batteries there. And those are two 6S 8,000 milliamp packs because that's what you're going to need for, this, uh, for the uh, Rimfire 65cc Outrunner motor. That motor will handle up to a 15S, but the 12S is more than enough power, especially for a Cessna. Uh, 150, 152. The green plugs are the Castle Creation plugs that can handle up to 200 amps continuous. And of course, you got your anti sparks right there as well. All right, friends, 
We're just getting her ready for the summertime and gonna, gonna go ahead and fly her. More to come. All right, friends, one of the things I just wanna show you real quick is the actual pack and how we have it inserted because that's really very important. So what we did is I created a tray and as I mentioned, and the tray just slides out like so. You just grab it and it comes out. It's rather heavy, of course, because of the batteries. You just have to pick it up like this. It's, and it is a good, it's probably at least a good, almost 10 pounds is what it feels like, just about. Now, you'll notice here on the bottom of the tray, uh, right here, uh, these are supports. And the reason why they're there is because there's a gap between the bottom of the tray and this portion here, this, this plate right here, as you can see. And that plate that you see right there, uh, what that does, that, is, that not only supports the tray, but it also has a hole here in the center. And that hole is what the actual tray uh, attaches to. We use a 632nd nylon screw, and you can see it here. And then what happens once the tray is in place, the nylon screw goes through the tray and into the um, blind nut, which is underneath the actual support plate right here. Now, if you look very carefully towards the back, you'll see a, a railing on the side there. And that railing right over there, Okay, let me uh, point it out to you here. That railing right over here, that guides the actual tray. And then you can see an additional railing back there and with a gap. That's what helps to hold the front of the tray in place. So because the pack is so heavy, we use the initial railing to guide the tray and the railing closest to the rear of the firewall to help hold it in place. And it works perfect. Once that tray is screwed in place, it's very secure. And it's a very easy and simple way of getting the tray in and out of the plane. So if you're thinking about building any one of the Hosteller Cessnas, the 150, the 182, the 172, the 206, you can install the tray in the exact same fashion. So that's why I wanted to take a moment to share this video in case anyone out there is thinking about building one of the Wendell Hosteller uh, Cessnas and they're trying to sort of figure out, well, how do I get the batteries in and out? All right, friends. Thanks for watching. More to come.